Hello guys, welcome back to Llama Tales. Do we have an awesome episode guys? Unfortunately, I had a lot of my video footage that got a little bit messed up with my hard drive. So guys, I literally had to just like save some of the footage and put it together for you guys as an episode. So episode two is still going to be epic guys, but it's just going to be like a quick summarized version in the beginning. So guys, right now I'm actually gathering some resources to finish up my starter house. Yay guys, I got most of the things that I needed, but I just needed some more cobblestone because I have this grand, great idea of building my base out of cobblestone. But I want to make those beautiful brick stones, right? And then I want to incorporate some deep slate because I love a deep slate roof. I cannot help myself. And then I also want to build with that beautiful red wood that you only find in a mangrove swamp. And all of this together, guys, I also want to use some of the dark oak and put all of that together to create a beautiful starter house. Now, my building style is a little bit different from others. I like it big. All right. I am the type of woman that likes to build a fairly big house. Why? Because I love space, man. I love having enough space to stack as many things. Do I envy? The Minecrafters that can build small little houses and make it look all compact and beautiful and nice. Yes, I do. But I like to build things no less than four blocks high because I like the room. I like two, three, four floors. I like space. And that's even the same in my real life, guys. I actually love space and I like things clean, neat and tidy. So whenever I build my starter house, I'm always thinking of like seven episodes ahead. I want to make sure that I can fit everything in there. All right, so yeah, while I'm busy getting some cobblestone here, I'm just giving you guys a rundown of everything that happened. Unfortunately, yes, I did suffer that setback on my footage, but I'm going to make the best out of this episode guys because i want to build a really good starter house so like i said in episode two let's jump away with building my beautiful beautiful starter house all right guys i already laid out the foundation so i'm gonna be building in an l shape now i know this is a very common shape um, I do like a good L shape when it comes to a house. I also like to texture things nicely. So as I said, I want the base to be that beautiful bricks. But then I also want to work in a couple of, uh, you know, blocks that just gives it a bit more dimension. You know, you don't want to look at it and it all looks the same. You want to get an idea of things that are broken down, things that are looking a bit worn down. You don't want it to look like you just built it right now. You know, Minecraft is about looking... Um, about texturing. I mean, it's all about texturing, guys. Oh, this is so epic. Hello, so, guys, when I had this vision in my mind, because I'm not the type of Minecrafter that goes and does a lot of research on different palettes and textures, I'm someone that just likes to build on the fly. I look at what looks good to me, what doesn't look good, I break down, I rebrand. I, that's the type of Minecraft I am. So what my our whole idea is to create this beautiful foundation, have these dark logs going all the way up. In the beginning, I thought maybe just giving it a cellar and maybe one floor. But as I was building, I realized I actually want to make it a little bit bigger. You know, I want to give it two stories up because I'm a Minecrafter with a bit of an OCD issue right I, I don't know how many of the other minecrafters out there are like this but I like to compartmentalize everything that means everything needs to have its own space and don't you dare put anything in the wrong space so when I when I say that I like to put everything in its place I literally mean that my sand needs to be in one box and my box needs to be filled with the sand and do not put anything except sand in my chest so I am a little bit meticulous on that but I am that for a reason and I enjoy being that so I I was like no let me give it two stories then I know there's enough space I'm not gonna have to expand later on so I'm gonna do the build once off and get it done 
Now, obviously, guys, a strip log just looks so beautiful. I mean, just look at the, the colors between that. You've got the beautiful foundation. So, guys, a bit of background. In real life, I'm an engineer. So, I have worked on many construction sites, done lots of mining. So, whenever I play Minecraft, I tend to work off that experience. So, my things need to be very square. It needs to be symmetric. And there we go, guys. So this would be the official start. And I'm going to be revealing to you my house. And this is a real beautiful one, guys. So I have finished it. Yes, uh, that was really fast. I'm a very fast builder. No, actually, my, my video got corrupted. So I just decided to do a reveal, guys. A beautiful reveal of my starter home. And this is going to be an awesome, awesome one. It's the biggest one I've built to date. And I think it's going to look absolutely phenomenal because I did put in a lot of effort into it and I really made sure that everything just fits nice and well together, guys. So are you ready? Ready, ready, ready for the reveal, guys. And there you have it. Ooh, ooh, sorry. There you have it. That is my starter home. So I worked it off with a beautiful red, you know, from the mangrove trees. And I did the beautiful little towers on top that has a bit of a viking look and feel but i'm kind of like really happy with the way it came out you know it it's nice and big i need to still do a couple of things here and there you know my house grows with my channel so the more i play the more i expand on my home and the more i swap things and break things but i do think that this house is looking phenomenal guys i don't know about you but i do love the red i'm a red freak i love red it's the most beautiful color there is but i do think i need some green as well so i didn't really work it off now one of the, my favorite leaves is the mangrove leaves um, a lot of other people will disagree to that but i personally love the mangrove leaves they just they just look so beautiful now i don't use any texture packs in that and that is because i don't have a pc that can run them i have a pc that can run the basics and that's okay for now because one day when I do get my texture packs and I do build myself the piece that I want, I think it will be even awesomer. So these things are going to look even better then. But other than that, guys, it is looking absolutely beautiful. I do like the way, you know, it worked out. It really worked out well. You know, um, I've got this little chimney going here up the side. So what, I, what my idea was to keep the chimney kind of like uh, a part of the basement. That's where all the... You know where we're doing all the tinkering and stuff so the bottom part i wanted to look really rustic so that's why i didn't go with windows i went more with like the bars and stuff i gotta work off this section still with the red you know you gotta look and make it look nice in the front and then you'll get to the rear um, but other than that i am so excited with the way this house turned out it really turned out much better than i had anticipated and you know um yeah Oh gosh, this leaf is not working here. Wait, let me have a look. You know, I like to take a step back and just have a look at everything and see where I want to put it. You know, you need to have a bit of green. But other than that, inside, I have the beautiful doors. I haven't done much inside. So, but there's enough space. I mean, the, the roof is nice and high. I'm going to work on um, some better staircase. That's a really awful staircase. But, you know, you can go to the bottom, which is the basement. And then you've got the top area. You know, this is like where we can put a little kitchen, put a bit of a seating area, you know, just where we can all chill and have fun. Um, the top part, I'm definitely going to have my bedroom. Um, and then, yeah, the bottom part is going to be the cellar. This kind of like storage cellar type of thing. So, uh, yeah, I think this is really, really going to work out well. I think it's really going to look so, so nice. So as you guys can see here at the bottom, I just still got to do some work here. So I got to put in the floor. I was thinking of going with like a red mangrove type of floor. It's really going to, you know, uh, uh, it's really going to go well with the, the bricks. But um, what I did notice over time is I need to sink it in. But I had to sink it in some more because I kept bumping my head against everything. So I had to like work it off better. But I was thinking, no, let me rather do a bit more of a mangrove red type of flooring. And, uh, you know, on the chimney, I just do like a standard kind of chimney, go up, you know, throw in um, the campfire. But this time I decided, let me go and work with the red mangrove wood. I haven't played with it that much. And I'm actually quite sad that I haven't done it. But um, this is actually looking really well. The, you know, the mangrove really worked well this time. And since red is my favorite color, this was like the best ever. Because I got to build a starter house. 
Um, and I think the whole theme for this episode, you know, for this whole uh, series, is going to be so co- cool if I keep moving with the the mangrove wood. You know, I really think it's going to look absolutely beautiful. You know, just look at that. It's it's really really looking nice. You know, when you close it up, you can see the little bit of the fire. Um, where normally with the with the other trapdoors, you don't really you cannot see that much through it. So you got that you got a bit of that look going. But other than that, guys, I really think this house turned out beautiful. You know, so guys, tell me what you think in the comments, you know. What do you think? You know, do you think it worked well? Do you think there's a different color? Maybe there's a different palette I can use on the next building? Because I do have a couple more buildings I want to work on um, in the next next couple of episodes. I definitely need to set up my mind. And then I also want to go on a quest to find a snuffer egg. I mean, come on, it's 1.20, we need to get a sniffer. I am so, so excited about the sniffer. So guys, if you're excited, drop it in the comments. Um, you know, let's let's all see who's all excited about the sniffer. And then obviously we've got to build a beautiful sniffer home. You know, all over YouTube, I'm seeing everybody building these really awesome homes for their sniffers. I've got to get in on the action. I also got to do it. You know, I'm almost excited. Well, let's get these leaves on the roof, you know, not just to break this this consistent same type of brick, you know, just to break it down, make it look like there's a couple of overgrown things here. I actually do love that texture. You know, tell me in the comment section if you like it, but I do love the whole leaves and using different blocks and different textures in the roof. It just makes it look more original, you know, it makes it look more like it's real life type of scenario. All right, this is actually coming together quite well. I'm really, 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 really happy with this so far. So guys, as I said, I want to do like the mangrove red type of floor. So I started with it here. It's really, really looking good. I'm, the only thing that bothers me is the roof is so close to my head. You know, I'm not going to have a lot of storage space down here. So maybe I should drop this entire thing one down. I'm thinking, yeah, let me rather maybe go down a bit more, you know. Oh, this is now a tough one. Yeah, guys, I don't know. I think I think the, the roof is too close to my head here. So, yeah, I think I need to maybe drop this down a little bit more. Because I'm not really going to get tons of storage space if it's this height. I wonder if it's going to look better that way. Maybe, yeah, maybe dropping it down. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Maybe it does. Maybe it's going to look better. Yeah. So other than that, guys, the the, the house really turned out well. You know, I, I really love this build. All right, guys. Another thing I need to show you is, I mean, can you believe that the wandering trader just keeps leaving me these llamas here? I mean, how rude of him. You know, I had a chat with him and I was like, dude, why are you leaving your llamas here? And he was like, no, he doesn't want them anymore. So I then just kindly helped him along and I kept all his llamas because on Llama Tales, we love llamas. And we, it's one of the, the characters that we actually love playing with the most is the llamas. And that's what the channel is based upon. You come for the llamas and you stay for the fun, guys, because we're having fun here. Okay, I think, um, yeah. So guys, if you do get that wandering trader, please ask him why is he leaving his llamas here. But if he does have some more llamas, please send them my way. Because I'm going to be building one really cool enclosure for all of these llamas. And I'm going to see how many llamas I can actually get in, in this series. You know, how many llamas I can actually save from that awful wandering trader. Because he really doesn't take good care of his llamas. Here at Llama Tales... We really take good, good, good care of our llamas. We even change the carpets. We don't all keep them the same color. I mean, come on. I swear it's the same wandering trader doing this all the time. As I thought ending off the episode, why don't we go on a little bit of a mining expedition? Not too far, you know, just running around the base, just seeing what is around us. You know, I think that's also going to give us a good idea of what we have. You know, are there any nether portals? Are there any mines? You know, whatever goodies there are around us. Oh, well, hello, Mr. Zombie. Goodbye. Well, that was really easy. It looked like the sheep killed him. That was really funny. 
I mean, it's like, he just comes up and it's like the sheep walks next to him. It's like, Bleh. so that was pretty funny. But other than that, guys, I just wanted to walk around, see if I can get some more coal, some more iron, and just get a lay for the land, you know, just go out maybe 300 blocks in one direction, you know, all around the base, and just see pretty much what is going on around it. So I think, um, uh, you know, just to just to get a lay and, and a feel for, for what's around the base. You know, I like to, to just have a look around it, see what there is, you know, where is some areas we can go digging to find some really good goodies. Whoa, this is like a massive ravine if I fall down here I'm dead like seriously dead but it does look like there's a lot of cool goodies in here let's go mining that guys concludes episode number two i think this was a really awesome one we got the starter house done we got some mining done and i think for the next episode i definitely need an iron farm because i've got some really really good ideas but other than that guys thank you so much for joining me here on llama tales and just sharing this time with me guys have an awesome day and ciao ciao